Welcome to Manifested Publishers. Welcome learners. My name is Stephen Kariungi. We continue with our topic of discussion, chlorine and its compounds. So today we are continuing with the chemical properties of chlorine. And number three is the reaction of chlorine with nonmetals. So basically, we find that uh, chlorine reacts with the nonmetals to form nonmetallic uh, chlorides. To form nonmetallic chlorides. Uh, for example, we can say that uh, chlorine reacts with hydrogen to form hydrogen chloride. However, this reaction does not take place at room temperature. This reaction does not take place at room temperature. So instead, uh, a small amount of uh, hydrogen, that is pure hydrogen, is burnt and then it is passed into chlorine gas so that the reaction can take place. So we take a small amount of hydrogen uh, gas from the jet or getting in through a jet that has a very small opening. Then it's first of all burnt and then as it is burning, uh, it is passed into chlorine gas so that the reaction can take place. So in this case, we are saying that uh, the chlorine gas plus hydrogen uh, react to form hydrogen chloride gas, which is a colorless gas. So we have chlorine and hydrogen reacting to form a hydrogen chloride gas. Also, it's good to note that uh, hydrogen gas should be pure, should be pure uh, because If it mixes with air, an explosion, an explosion is likely to take place. So in this reaction, we are saying that uh, hydrogen gas needs to be pure and then it should be delivered through a jet to ensure that small quantities of hydrogen react with excess chlorine. So the chlorine should be in excess and should be reacted with a small amount of hydrogen gas that is pure and that is to minimize the chances of an explosion. When that reaction takes place, we form hydrogen chloride gas, which is a, which is a colorless gas. So basically, that's one of the nonmetals uh, that reacts with uh, chlorine. Chlorine also reacts with phosphorus, with both white and red phosphorus. to form phosphorus chlorides. 
to form phosphorus 3 chloride. That is if chlorine is in a limited supply and phosphorus 5 chloride if chlorine is in excess. So we have uh, phosphorus plus chlorine. Phosphorus exists as a molecule made of four atoms, a P4 molecule. So plus chlorine gas. And this one will form phosphorus 3 chloride. That is if chlorine is limited in supply. Uh, if chlorine is in excess, then the phosphorus will combine with chlorine in excess uh, to form phosphorus 5. So those are the two chlorides that are formed by phosphorus. So phosphorus forms phosphorus 3 chloride when it is in a, there is a limited supply of chlorine and it forms a phosphorus 5 chloride when there is excess chlorine. So basically we are saying that phosphorus is another non-metal, just like hydrogen that reacts with chlorine. So we are going to have an assignment on that. So the first question in the assignment, explain why hydrogen and chlorine do not react at room temperature. And number two, write two equations for the reaction of chlorine and phosphorus. So we are going to stop there until next time. Goodbye.